Hi everyone and welcome back to my more important analysis videos on Tuesday 21st of March with me Rich Bear Market Analyst at Attic Markets looking at Dolly Yen. We've um, seen a bit of a mixed candle today. Earlier on the, the sort of outlook seemed to be pushing higher on Dolly Yen. Um, but it was just uh, just been sort of held in its tracks now. We've seen the euro and sterling performing so strongly. Dollar being sold off on the back of that. That's helped to drag your uh, your dollar yen lower. Um, the outlook is pretty uncertain, I'd say. Um, I sort of focused on the, in the morning report this old sort of four around twelve um, fifty, which again held support over the last couple of days. Initially uh, early doors today sort of broke to the outside, rallied off twelve twenty six. But I think that this sort of between eleven sixty and twelve fifty, I think there's a basis of support I think you'd be looking out for in this range. Um so to look for the next possible uh, buy signal within the range because I don't think this is going to be a, a move that uh, breaks to the downside certainly not I think it's going to be continuing in the range for some time um, and the momentum indicators certainly reflect that RSI 40 MACD lines sort of mildly crossed over stochastics are still falling so that would suggest that we're still in a bit of a bear phase and um, obviously the market sort of falling away intraday today certainly reflects that near term you've got this 1290 resistance here that was the reaction low that we saw last Thursday and subsequently yesterday's high and basically today's high as well so uh, I think that is a level clearly the market is looking out for. Uh, above that, 13.55 is the main sort of area of resistance. That was a couple of kilos from earlier on in March, and subsequently uh, some highs that we saw a few uh, well last week. So that is the key level of resistance near term. But uh, 12.90 is also important, interestingly as well. So uh, watch out for these levels. But 12.20, uh, 12.26 was them. Um, the overnight low and uh, that is clearly a level that the market is now going to be as a near-term basis of support um, if that sort of does break to the downside you're looking at 1160 again but I still think that 1160 to 1250 is probably going to be around about the level at which we see the next sort of reaction low before uh, a move higher within this range I don't think this range is going to break down so I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later